If you're having trouble ranking up in GTA 5, watch till the end because I'm going to be going over some of the easiest ways to rank up in GTA 5 Online. Alright, first off, we have the CEO crate method. Now, this is a very easy method. The only requirement is a CEO warehouse, or a CEO crate warehouse, sorry. And preferably, it works better with five, but you can do this with one or two or three or four, it doesn't matter, but five is definitely the best case scenario with this. But with this method, all you have to do is you're gonna to wanna to source one crate, and then after you've sourced that crate, sell that crate immediately. So just the one crate. And then depending on the mission you have, so it could either be the truck, the boat, or the plane, the truck paying the least, and then the plane paying out the most, you can make between eight and 15,000 RP points just by doing a sales mission, which takes you probably 10 minutes, and the source mission only takes about five minutes. So in 15 minutes, you can make almost 20,000 RP, meaning every hour with this method, you can make close to 75 to 80,000 RP if you're doing this efficiently with five warehouses. Now I say five, because if you only have one, you're gonna have a pretty hefty cooldown after every sales mission. But if you have five warehouses, you can just start in the first one, sell sell one warehouse go to your second one go to your third one go to your fourth one and then by the time you've sold your fifth warehouse your first warehouse the cooldown will already have ran out so you can just repeat the process but obviously with one warehouse they have to wait a little bit and the process can take a lot longer so that's why i definitely recommend having five warehouses but again if you can't afford five warehouses or you just don't have five warehouses this method definitely still does work with one two three four warehouses whatever you have it'll work all right, next we have a very overlooked method, but just spinning the lucky wheel in the casino. I mean, yes, you can win the car, and a lot of people are trying to win the car mainly, or money or something like that. But worst case, if you don't get the car, you'll get a lot of RP or something else. But mainly the RP is what we're focusing on. And if you do land on one of the RP sections on the lucky wheel, it can be between five to 10 to, I believe even 20,000 RP. So realistically, spinning the casino wheel is just a win-win. If you don't win the car, you'll just win some RP or some cash or something. So if you're looking for quick and easy RP that's pretty much passive as well, just go spin the lucky wheel every day. And who knows, you could actually make a decent amount of RP just by doing this simple task. All right, next up, we just have following the Rockstar Newswire. So every week when Rockstar publishes their newswire about the double money and RP event weeks and all that, check what events are double money and RP and just do those for that week. Because a lot of the time, sometimes when we're lucky too, we'll get triple or even quadruple money and RP on like the community series, for example, or just some contact missions or adversary, adversary modes. And when these go on these event weeks, whether double money, triple money, quadruple money, a lot of players will start gravitating towards these missions because a lot of players want to make that money and they want to make that RP quickly. And by doing adversary modes, contact missions, it's a fun way to do it. And it's also different than the kind of the average grind of a GTA player of doing the, the KO Perico heist or CEO crates and all that. But by doing these community series jobs or contact missions or adversary modes while they're on these double money and RP event weeks, you can make a crazy amount of XP. And especially if it's the community series, by doing these races, the more players you have, the more XP and the more money you'll be making. Plus, a lot of the community jobs, they're made by GTA 5 community members, and they're very fun as well. So, like I said, check out the newswire, always be on top of what event weeks are going on, and what's double money, and just grind those out, just follow those. And that works the same way with a money method. If you need money, just look at the event weeks, what's on double money, what's on triple money, and just do those, grind those out, and I promise you after a while, you will make a ton of XP or a ton of money. And the final tip I have for you guys is either join an MC club or join a CEO organization. So whether or not you're the CEO or just a member, by doing these the missions that are involved the CEO or the MC biker businesses, by doing these missions with your organization or with your club, you can actually make a very good amount of XP as well. Plus, you'll just get passive XP for being in these clubs. Rockstar Games loves giving out random stuff like that. So just by being in a CEO organization or being in an MC club, they'll just give you random XP anyway. Plus, when you do all the missions and all that connected to these organizations, you'll make even more XP. Plus, you'll be making more XP with other players. So if you're looking to make a quick XP, joining a CEO organization and doing missions like Headhunter and all that, and all like the capture ground stuff, those are very good ways to make uh, XP and also money with your friends while in GTA 5 Online. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome day, night, or whatever it is for you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.